Good morning, folks. I'm in my meditation just about to enter. Suddenly a thought came to my mind about health. Just to debunk, most people um, think um, health is an elusive concept. WHO defined health um, in their own way, but that doesn't probably make any sense to the common people. So what is the definition of health? When you say, oh, he or she is very healthy, what do you mean? So there are three things you have to think that if you want to call yourself or somebody else healthy, because if you don't know what does health is equal to, then there's less chance that you will actually achieve it. So first is the appearance. How, how, how do I look like? Okay. Second is how do I feel like in terms of energy level and happiness level? These are the two key things. And third, how do I perform? So a healthy body will look good, feel good, and perform good. Now, the visible thing is this, like, oh, even if a stranger is walking on the street, you can have a look as oh, he or she looks healthy. So what I'm actually looking at, I'm looking at the speed of walking, the way the body or posture is held, and the physical structure, like a fat percentage, etc. Your, your brain knows how to calculate. And these are the things that's ancient because uh, in primitive um, era, people will look for mates to reproduce and those who look strong, um, female will choose them because they can protect the kids and, and her. And male will choose a female who looks like she can childbear, uh, good lower body strength, pelvis and etc. So these, these are all kind of in our DNA. Now, second thing is, even with a good body, you may feel miserable. And I've seen many sports star, cricketer, actor, actress, they've been committed suicide. So are we feeling happy or sad? Are we feeling energetic or not energetic? Do I need to take medicine, drugs to feel energetic, even coffee? So the third point is, can I perform? Sorry, my Google countdown timer is going off. And third thing is, can I perform? Meaning, can I... The, the, the basic performance is stretch. Like, can I touch my toes if I sit uh, on a floor like that? And uh, second is, um, can I uh, run or walk for 12 minutes? And what's the distance? Am I satisfying to my gender and age matched distance? So every age and every gender has got a 12 minutes um, a set uh, distance. Find it out on a website. It's called Dr. Cooper Test, C-O-O-P-E-R. So can I cover that distance in 12 minutes? that's your endurance um, performance if you can stretch your um, hand and touch your feet when you're standing um, or, or when you're sitting like a ship L with your back against the wall that's your stretchability test also there are more complicated stretchability tests like can you do namaste on your back like two hands together so this is like um, your small joint your wrist joint etc a lot of people suffer from joint pain they cannot do it and the third thing is Am I strong enough? Can I push up on the floor 25 times? An adult um, male is supposed to do 25 push up nonstop. I know it's extremely difficult even for 25 because we are so unhealthy. So recap again. How does anyone look like? Meaning good BMI, body mass index, structure of it. You know, and you don't have to tell like it's just apparent. You cannot hide it if somebody is healthy. Second is happiness feeling and energy feeling. Yeah. And third is the the performance. Um, can they perform both endurance, which is 12 minutes, how fast can you walk or run, and 25 push-ups, which is your upper body strength. I'm not focusing on lower body strength, which is probably more important than upper body because everybody's got a reasonable lower body strength. And third is your stretchability. Yeah, uh, whether you, all your joints can go through the full range of movement. Now, people tend to focus on the appearance because then, you know, you get good comments like, oh, you look fab, etc. But actually, you should focus on the third one. Can I perform? Once you can perform, you will feel good, you will look good. It's, it's not the other way around. So don't focus on the goal. Focus on the process and energy will be there. Happiness will be there. Although working on the happiness is not just this. It takes it beyond. You need to feel that you are contributing, you are creating. Because passive passive consumption of medias and stuff and knowledge, even 
YouTube videos like this self-improvement is not going to make you happy. It will make you even more frustrated that you are watching a bunch of YouTube videos on self-improvement, but you're not putting the process in place. You're not making new habits unless you make habit of running in the morning, unless you are making habit of 10 push-ups three times daily in the morning, unless you have got a stretch protocol, you're not going to feel happy, be energetic, and then you will not look good. So you have to look good because that will prove that you're doing this. But do not start there. And I, I know a lot of my patients they say, oh, I'm too fat, I look ugly, or they don't even want to, you know, when you're taking selfie, then I say, no, 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 don't take my selfie, I look awful, etc. So that's a very bad attitude because if you cannot self-love, who is going to, uh, you know, help you? Because you are your best friend, but sometimes we are our worst enemy because you are undermining your confidence, you are undermining your dream because your brain cannot take it like in one hand you are telling your brain, I'm not good, I'm not good, I'm not good. And you are trying to do all the stuff that will make you feel good. So you have to first accept, fine, I have done this, I have abused my body, I have taken drugs, I have done this and that. Accept that because you cannot go back. Accept that, yes, I'm overweight, fine. But can I, can I become healthy? Absolutely 200% because wherever he was standing, if you do something, even if it's an inch, he will go up. You cannot go down. Suppose I'm super, super heavyweight. I'm super, super unfit. Suppose I decide that I will just cut my calorie intake. Or rather, should I say, I will just eat one cookie less. Even if it's cookie, one cookie less. Is that not a positive thing? It is. So do not think wherever you are. We tell it to the smokers. Even if somebody is smoking like 10 cigarettes every day for the last 30 years, the first day you cut down by one cigarette. Is that not an improvement? But never you can start a health journey thinking you are rubbish. Please don't do that. Love yourself. And the other thing is that when you are on a health journey, you are motivated. You are seeing this video. You make a plan, a big plan. Do not do that. Make a small plan. I will do five push-ups. Not like 10 push-ups three times a day. Five push-ups. Make it very small. And tag that habit on a habit. Like when I drink my morning coffee, I will sit down, I will journal, I will meditate. Because coffee I will have to have, but this sometimes I forget. That's why I tagged, it's called habit stacking. You stack one habit with another habit and keep a score like, have I done it? Have I done it? You know, have I done it? And that evidence says that if you keep a score of your habit, like a habit tracking app, there are many apps. One is called, uh, what is the one, uh, Alti, Alti Self, I think. Um, so then more chance you will do it and do not do compensation. So if you sleep, call habit sleep, one day you forgot or you couldn't, etc. Do not do double them on next day. It doesn't work. Okay. But when you're forming a habit, it is way better to do it daily rather than three times a week. It doesn't work that way. So if you're thinking of running 30 minutes um, three times a day, rather I would ask you to run seven minutes, seven days a week. Because what happens every day, like toothbrush, you, 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 don't, you don't think that, oh, I will brush my tooth uh, Monday, Tuesday and Thursday and Saturday, Sunday, I will do a one, one hour of brushing the tooth. Similarly, meditation. You don't think that, oh, I'll do the meditation three times a week. It doesn't work that way. But make it so stupidly simple, five minutes. And there's a barrier in our mind. That, oh, I can't meditate. But can you not get five minutes? Really? Are you joking? So this is it. So appearance will come. Happiness energy will come, but you have to start at the process. Process will make your goal possible. Do not chase the goal. Chase the process because there is always benefit, always a win. You may not achieve your goal, but you will always improve if you start there. So that's it. Have a lovely Monday.